All right, so for today's video, I wrote down 10 crucial steps to make hard beats completely from scratch. And I can guarantee you if you follow all the steps correctly and carefully, you'll end up with a good, decent beat, man. I promise you that. And make sure to watch the video all the way to the end because the last step is the most important step of all. So uh, yeah, let's go right into it. Let's get it. So step one, when you want to make a good beat is to think of what kind of beat you want to make. Like it doesn't have to be too specific, but just a little idea, feel me? And after that, the first step is to set a suitable uh, BPM and scale to uh, the emotion that you want to go for. Do you want to go for a slow beat, a more up-tempo beat, and what kind of skill you want to work in, major or minor in my case for today's beat i want it to be a little bit faster paced so i'm gonna set the bpm to uh 168 on uh, let's go for c sharp minor so after that you're satisfied with the bpm and the skill that you chose uh we're going to go right into step two which is sound selection and i just made a video on sound selection so if you want to see me go more in depth into sound selection it should pop up in one of the corners and the first part of a good sound selection is of course picking the right vst of what kind of melody you want to go for let's say i want to use arp i'm open up electra x or let's say i want to use a pad i'm open up expand for example so i think i'm gonna start out with omnisphere on just browse through the presets till I find a preset that I like. So we went to the keyboard section. That's all right, like that. And this part right here is where step three comes in, which is converting your ideas into uh, into audio. And audio could be a lot of things. It could be MIDI, uh, could be playing your guitar or recording something with your iPhone, for example. And for me, the first melody is what's most important in the entire beat because it kind of sets the foundation of the beat, you feel me? Like all of the other melodies and drum sounds, you kind of build it off of the first melody that you started out with. So make sure you actually like the first melody that you start out with. Otherwise, your whole beat's just gonna go to waste. I'm gonna start out by laying down the root note C sharp and I'm gonna build something on top of it. Try it. Move the middle note up. That's a hard chord. Lay down the same chord right here. Move the middle note down one. Pitch it up as well. Kind of loop this. Yeah, I like that. Switch it up at the end so it's not too repetitive. A sharp right here. Create the chord. Yeah. That's perfect. Copy this over an octave. Kind of make it sound a little bit more full. Randomize the velocities using Alt or Option R. Lower them to make it uh, sound a little bit softer. So after I've laid down my first melody, we're going to dive right into step four, which is processing your sounds. And converting your ideas into audio and processing your sounds kind of uh, repeats itself over and over again while making a beat. Because of course, we're going to add multiple melodies to the sample. Uh, we're going to process them over and over again. And it's very important to use the right tools, the right uh, effect plugins, all that stuff. So really uh, experiment with a lot of different effects to really know what they do. And I always like to start out with the EQ when uh, adding effects to a melody to really uh, get rid of some of the harsh frequencies and unwanted frequencies. Also make sure to enhance the strong features of the melody. So it's very strong in the low mids right here. So I'm gonna boost it a little bit. Boost some of the high mids to bring out the presence. Like that. Also cut out the sub low since it can only make it sound muddy. Uh, you don't really hear those at all, so it's unnecessary. At this point, you can also add some compression to it to kind of even it out. I don't want to add too much. Just some compression to kind of glue it together. Should be enough. Next, I think some delay would sound good. Not too much. Very subtle. Next, I'm gonna add some saturation, some sort of distortion to it with the radiator from Sound Toys 5. Boost the treble. Make it sound a little bit more vintage. Something like that. And I don't want to add too much to it since that's what uh, sound selection is for, so I'm only gonna add a reverb to it. Something like this. Pretty big reverb. Yeah, that's a good foundation to start out with. So this is where step five comes in, which is complementing existing melodies in your sample. And that's really all we're doing for the rest of the sample. We're gonna lay down new melodies and kind of complement all of them with new melodies. And it's very important to uh, complement frequency ranges. So this uh, piano right here is very strong in the low mids. So I'm not gonna add another melody that's also strong in the low mids. Like that wouldn't make sense. So I'm gonna add a new melody right here and I'm gonna give y'all some tips uh, throughout this process of adding other melodies. Actually, what I think I'm gonna do is copy over these chords right here. Just copy them into uh, a new patch file in the sphere. Just look for, uh, like I said, a preset that complements the first melody. I am gonna pitch it up an octave to introduce some uh, higher frequencies. Yeah. Film it is like this complements it perfectly. Has a lot more bounce to it. Shit, yeah, I'm stick to this one. I'm gonna run this melody out since it's a little bit too random. Let me cut the the low mids out since we got those in the first melody. Something like this. Like I said, with complementing melodies, I'm gonna pan this one to the left, and after this, we're gonna add another melody, which I'm gonna pan to the right. So it complements this melody right here, which we pan to the left. I really wanna go for what you hear instead of what you see. Only added three effects to it, oh, but it already sounds good. Like, I don't wanna add too much to it. That's all right. I'm gonna really stick to that atmosphere sound, so I'm gonna open up atmosphere one more time. Uh, like I said, pitch them in right here. Maybe pitch it up too. Whew. 
Ruf. Yeah, that's perfect. Like I said, I'm gonna pan it to the right. Start with EQ, cut the lows out. Yeah, that's perfect. Add some distortion to it. Just gonna add even more bounce to it. And this is what I mean with uh, melodies that complement each other perfectly, man. Just listen to it. It's not muddy. Complement each other perfectly. Now for the next melody, I'm um, just looking for something unique, like something that only comes in twice, like on the first bar and the fifth bar, for example. We're going to Omnisphere, going to Retroland, and just look for uh, a weird preset. Yeah. Yeah. Very repetitive, like I said. All right, bet. I'm gonna cut some of the harsh frequencies out. Something like this. That's a reverb to it. Very subtle. Yeah. The next melody, I'm still missing some body in the sample, so I'm opening up Keyscape. And add a piano to it at some uh, very low, low octave root notes. Let's add this one. Add the custom C7 watch. Sheesh. What are these? Go up right here. That's perfect for the fix. It's still sounding a little bit muddy right now because some of the sub lows out. Move some of the high mids. That yeah, sounds a lot better. Some subtle reverb. That's it. There's a lot more emotion to the sample, you know? Last thing I'm gonna add to the sample is probably a string on the end of the fourth and the eighth bar at the end. I'm gonna open up SRA strings for that. Multiple octaves. Got my velocities a little bit. Some glance some reverb. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Right, so I'm satisfied how the sample turned out. So I'm gonna get right into step six, which is laying down the drums. But the thing that's most important is to add bounce to the sample. You feel me? Otherwise, it wouldn't be called a beat if there's no bounce in it. So of course, you want some strong low end with the 808. Uh, you want a hard hitting snare, some crispy high hats, all that stuff. But you really want to make sure that you're complimenting the melody, not ruining it. You feel me? When it comes to the drums, sound selection is also really important. So it's a good thing to have high quality drum sounds. So every single drum sound I'm gonna be using came from my half a cent drum kit and my rook season drum kit, both out right now. I'll first link down in the description. This kit's got everything in it to lay down hard drums. So if you got both kits, man, you're set for life. Basically, I like got 808s, bonus loops, claps, effects, hi hats, percussion, snares, open hats, a lot of different sounds. So let's get right into it. So I'm really looking for that punchy snare that really sets the bounce. Let's use this one. Not too much. Even have more bounce to it. Sounds better. Next, I'm adding hi hat to it. Use this one. Add a two step to it. Really says that bounce, feel me? I'm gonna add even more bounce to it with the open hat. Yeah. Oh, come on, bro. That's what I mean with bounce, bro. Yeah. That's some uh, kind of sense right here. We're gonna add some hi-hat rolls and all that stuff later on, but I really want to set the bounce first of all, you feel me? So that's why I'm adding multiple sounds uh, to it to really get that bounce going. I'm adding another kind of snare to it right here. Yeah. Well, then it has the bounce, feel me? Yeah. 
rap song. I'll just keep it simple, man. Throw spins on it. Hold on, bro. Hold on, boy. I'm not in the root, no, man. I'm tripping. My bad. Make sure to follow the root, no, man. Make sure to send the skill. Alright, the bounce already going crazy. I'm gonna add some rolls to the highest and not do too much. Yeah. That's it, man. That's it. Last thing I'm gonna add to it is some percussion. My Rick Season drum kit. Right here. Shorten this. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so uh, we arrived at step seven, which is uh, processing the drums. So adding effects to the drums, reverb, delay, all that stuff, pan the drums left to right. But of course, things like compression and EQs and all that stuff is not necessary if you're using high quality drum sounds. First thing down the description, you feel me? It's already sounding good, you feel me? Like, really ain't gotta do too much. That, that bounce crazy, man. Turn this down a little bit. I think I'm gonna only add some reverb to this, uh, this perk right here. Short reverb. So it kind of blends it in with the melody if you're using the same reverb. But for the rest, man, I think it's pretty much done. All right, so step eight is everything when it comes to mixing, mastering, adjusting volumes, leveling, all that stuff, man. So I usually uh, like to start out by leveling the sounds, and uh, that's pretty much all I do. Like, I don't really do too much when it comes to mixing and mastering. If you're using high-quality sounds, you don't have to. But of course, it kind of enhances the stereo image. You can pan things from left to right. Um, so I'm going to mix it and pan it real quick. Don't got to do too much. Pan this high a little bit. Pan this part. That's pretty much it, man. It's like it's already sounding good. Like film is already sounding good. Hard as fuck, man. Uh, let's get into the next step. The next step is arranging the beat. Of course, I arranged it a little bit uh, just to lay down the drums, but um, I'm gonna arrange the beat real quick and go over it really quick. I got an in depth video on it, it should pop up here, here, in one of the corners. Uh, I'll make an updated version soon. Let me know if y'all want the updated version because I believe it's an old video. That's just about practice, really. Like, of course, with the verse, you want a lot of space for the artist, so I'm gonna cut a lot of melodies out, something like that. Second part of the verse, maybe just do it like this. A lot of space for me. Two. So we got an 8-bar intro, 16-bar hook, 16-bar verse uh, right here. And then we're going to get into the bridge right here. And when it comes to arranging the beat, you of course want to add drums to it and uh, make some cuts and some adjustments in that too. For example, I don't want the open hat at the second part of the verse. I just kind of snare, only want it in the hook, something like that. And it makes the entire beat just more enjoyable uh, to listen to for a long time. High cut right here, for example. That's a lot more bounce to it. And just a quick little arrangement, uh, nothing too crazy. So let's get into the last step, which is make sure you put your shit out, man. Like post it on YouTube, SoundCloud, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I don't give a fuck. Like you might be one beat away from a big placement. You feel me? And if your beats are just sitting on your hard drive collecting dust, doesn't make sense. Like if you know any artist, send your beat to that artist. If you know any friends who like listening to beats, send them to those friends. Enter beat battles, uh, start a YouTube type beat channel, all that stuff, man. Just make sure you put your shit out, man. All right, so these were my 10 steps on how to make hard beats completely from scratch, man. I wanna thank y'all for watching the video all the way to the end. And like I said, the intro, if you follow all of these steps carefully and correctly, like you can go wrong, man. Like you'll end up with a good beat. And of course, I hope y'all learned something from the video. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We just passed 34K on the channel. So I really wanna thank y'all for that. So make sure to like the video, follow me on Instagram, all that stuff. If you like the jump sounds that I use, in today's video i'm having a link down the first link down in the description so make sure to go check that out if you get any future video ideas or things you want to see me do on the channel make sure to leave a comment i read every single one oh, and that's all i have for today's video man so i'm gonna catch you on the next one i'm out